So a lot of people are out here depressed and fucking anxious every single day. And I see it all the time when I have conversations with people. I see it on social media, people either feeling sorry for themselves or they're just fucking miserable. And I've been there. I've done that. And the things that have worked for me through first, let me just add that I'm clinically diagnosed with depression and anxiety. Okay. And I've been hospitalized for my mental health back when I was 16. So I get it. Like I struggle every single day. I would say that more often than not, I have not wanted to be here. Okay. But I have worked through those things and I have been able to, to create a fulfilling life. Okay. So the, the thing that I notice the most is every time I fall into depression and anxiety is for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have a fucking purpose. So I'm not working toward anything towards anything. I don't have goals. I'm not ambitious. I'm not excited to wake up and like go do things that are constructive for me. I'm not learning. I'm not helping others. I, I don't have a purpose. Okay. When I get to that point where I don't have a purpose, I start to poison myself with toxic people, toxic behaviors, and toxic substances. I have a, a history of substance abuse. I have abused alcohol in the past. I don't drink anymore. Um, I don't participate in anything that is toxic to my lifestyle. I can't be around people that don't give a fuck about me, okay? I cannot be around people that treat me like shit. I cannot be around people that treat themselves like shit, that don't give a fuck about themselves. Um, I can't drink because it takes me days to recover mentally from drinking. I feel like absolute dog shit after drinking. And it just pulls me further into this fucking path of like what everyone else is just average as fuck going out drinking on the weekends to escape their lives, right? They don't give a fuck about themselves. They just want to get fucked up. And the only thing they have in common with other people at the bars and clubs is that they're all drunk. Because I guarantee you, if all of them were in the same room sober, nobody would even speak to each other. So they, they're using alcohol as this buffer between them and other people because nobody has anything in common, but they want to get out and be social and, and try to like take a girl home and all this other like super fucking this stuff that doesn't do anything for you. So I don't drink. I don't hang around people that are partying and all they care about is partying. Okay. I can't. And I have to wake up every day with a goal in mind. And those goals are written out. And every single day I do things. And it's more than just one thing. It's not, I'm just going to the gym and, and work on my body. If you're, if you're new and you're just starting out, that could be a great, a great thing to start out with. But for me, I have multiple things I'm working toward. Multiple things that I'm working toward every single day. I have a very, very strict way of moving toward my goals and I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all. But as long as I wake up and I have things that I'm going to do that day that are going to get me closer to who I want to be, then that's, that's it for me. That's all I need is just some direction in a sense of me working toward my long-term goals. And part of that is being of service to others and helping others with breaking down those mental barriers, breaking down those, uh, those that self doubt or those limiting beliefs because I was there too. I told myself so many times that I like couldn't do something or that or that like people didn't give a fuck about me or that something was too hard and I wasn't going to be able to do it or whatever it was. And I've and I've had people around me to get me out of that pit. And now I'm here because I want to get other people like me out of that pit, you know? Um so that's my purpose. My purpose is to help other people get out of that mental hell. And I truly believe that this is my purpose. And if I continue working toward my purpose, if I continue working on my physical health, my mental health, my spiritual health, most importantly, my spiritual health, my emotional health, keeping people around me that have my best interest in heart and showing the people around me that I have their best interest at heart. Um, those are the things that, that keep me out of the depression holes and anxiety holes. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. Keep fucking killing it. If you're looking for something to start doing to get yourself out of that depression hole, I would say the first biggest step would be, would be finding a connection with a higher power. The next step would be 
go to the gym, go work out. Give yourself some fitness goals and stick to them and work towards them every day. And when you fall, when you fall, uh, fall short, to try again the next day and try again the next day and try again the next day. That's part of learning how to move past shit instead of throwing in the towel and being destructive because people like us who are who have anxiety and depression we love being destructive like that is the best way for us to like release that energy is to just say fuck it i'm gonna go get fucked up i'm gonna hit up this person i'm gonna go try to do this i'm gonna go get high whatever it is like that's who we are that is who we are deep down and we have to like transform that energy because that's all it is, is just a bunch of pent up fucking energy. We have to transform that into something constructive. Like, oh, I'm pissed off, I'm gonna go work out. I'm pissed off, I'm gonna go try to be of service to somebody else and get out of my fucking head, you know? Like, things like that. Anyway, y'all have an amazing weekend, um, and I'll catch you in the next one. As always, let's fucking get it. <laughs>